Hello and welcome back to the DIY Affiliates world. You are the creator tutorials. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate on YouTube and the Secret YouTuber on TikTok. If you are new to my channel, I welcome you. Thank you for checking out this video and thank you for checking out my channel. This channel is for beginners. I offer step-by-step -step video tutorials on YouTube, WordPress, social media content marketing, and Kindle Direct Publishing. If you are tuning into my channel for the very first time, I have started a series of tutorials called You Are The Creator for new authors to make money from the privacy and security of your own home. You are the creator. You write the script. You put your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and with a little bit of imagination, the sky is the limit. If you want to become an author and make money from home, I am here to tell you that you can do it. Yes, you can. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. It doesn't matter whether you know grammar or spelling. Any of those spelling blocks you can turn into stepping stones by using programs such as Grammarly and the Power Thesaurus. In the Creator Series, I show you step-by-step -step video tutorials that will help you to be able to write your manuscript using the, the Microsoft Word Dictate how to upload and convert your manuscript into the Kindle Create software, how to use the Kindle Create software, how to set up and publish a Kindle Ready ebook and paperback through the Kindle Direct Publishing, and finally, how to join the ACX, find a narrator, and create an audiobook for worldwide distribution on Amazon, Audible, and iTunes. To get serious about writing your book, if you are, then you have arrived at the right time, and this is the right channel for you to start your journey with. And thank you for checking out my channel. Every one of us is a creator, whether it be a books, videos, or articles. You are the creator. You write your own script on YouTube. This is my journey of creating and publishing my first book and audiobook. So why listen to me? Because I share all of my tips, tricks, and secrets, and shortcuts that I have learned from my own experience. The knowledge I share is free to everyone. Knowledge is power. This is video number 10. I am going to show you how to use the Canva online software to create your start image for Kindle eBooks and paperbacks. To catch up with me so you can follow along Watch the playlist of all the previous videos located on the top right of the screen. In the previous videos, I showed you how to create your manuscript using the six steps that I use to create my draft story. I show you Microsoft Dictate for writing your story, the basics of Kindle Create, and Grammarly for your grammar and spelling, and the Power Thesaurus to build powerful descriptive words. Just click into the link and come back to the video when you are done. Just pause this video and grab a coffee. Watch the previous videos to catch up to this video. Before we get to the video, all I ask is for you to subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that I will be posting. For the rest of you, you can follow along with me. So without further ado, let's get on with the next video. I give you just the facts. Let's get down to business. Stick with me to the end of this video and I will show you how you can read my book free and also take advantage of the Prime Members free exclusive Audible for three months trial. Without further ado, let's get into the video. In this following video, I will show you how to upload and insert four different sizes and shapes of images to your Kindle Create software document. The chapter start image at 2048 pixels by 1024 pixels, which you will see at the beginning of your chapter, and images with different sizes and width 
and height 150 by 300 600 by 600 and 800 by 600 pixels just a little bit of housekeeping before we get started this is canva.com I am using a pro account but you can sign up for a free account check out the free account first and then if you decide you would like to use the pro account then switch I am NOT an affiliate with the company but I do use it for all of my social media needs scroll to the top right where you see create a design scroll down until you see the plus sign where it says custom size click into the box and type in 2048 by 1024 and make sure that it is pixels tap on create a design your chapter start image is the image that you would see at the beginning of each one of your chapters and the 248 pixels by 1024 pixels gives you the length of your margins and the height of your image you can change a template simply by typing in a keyword and looking for the template that will best suit your needs you would simply click, click on the template it will then be transferred to your canvas in which you will be able to now move and change and add different elements such as text images frames grids and much much more on the left hand panel you will find the backgrounds scroll down to you see the backgrounds icon here you can change the color of your back background you can change it to any of these backgrounds that you see simply by scrolling on top and tapping the different backgrounds to see what will be the best for your design can use a background design by choosing a photo these elements here you can use your keywords to find all of the elements that you are looking for for your canvas under the elements tab you will find all photos graphics videos and audio tap on a photo tap on the photo it will appear on your canvas you will notice an editing box border surrounds your image use the editing circles with the two-headed arrow to stretch your image to fit your canvas under the keyword search bar you will find the categories you will find graphics to choose a graphic simply tap on the graphic it will appear on the canvas use the four headed arrow to move your graphic around use the two sided arrow to size your your graphic smaller or larger when you tap on the edit graphic you will see other options come up to make a copy or duplicate your graphic scroll to the top right where you see the copy icon tap on the copy icon this will create a duplicate of your 
graphic. How to use position to position your element on your canvas. Place your element over the element that you would like to position it with. Scroll up to the editing bar to position. To go backwards behind the first element, tap backwards. To go behind the second element, tap backwards. To bring your element forward, tap forward. The element will go backwards and forwards between the elements that are already on the page. You can use the center, top, middle, bottom, left or right to position your element on your canvas. To delete any elements on your canvas, look for the trash can located at the top right of your, your screen. Use as many elements as you like, but keep in mind each element you add, the heavier in the DPI your image is. How to remove the background on your image. Choose your image. Tap on Edit Image. Tap on a Background Remover. Wait until it is finished processing and your background is removed. Then tap on Apply. Move your image with your four-headed arrow. For more information and to use Canva in more detail, look to your right and watch the video to help you, show you step by step how to use Canva. When your image is complete, to download your image, choose the share button. The file type is, the, is JPEG, which is the best quality. Choose Download, File Type, JPEG. If you have Pro, you can use 100% quality. If not, it will be 80%. Tap on Download. Create a new folder. Give your folder a name. Call it Kindle Images and save your image in your new folder. Save all of your images in the same folder. Tap on the plus sign and choose chapter start image. Find your folder, open your folder, choose the image 2048 pixels by 1024 pixels is the best size for your chapter start image. Choose your size, 25% of your page, 33% of your page. Use the highlighted square to select the most important part of your image. You will notice the four devices below. You will see your tablet, your cell phone, and your two Kindle e-readers. As you drag the highlighted part around of the image, you will see it, how it fits in with each one of these devices. Alt text. This is a description of your image for the people who are sight challenged. Not everybody can see images, so try to describe your image as descriptive as possible. Copy your image description to use with your other image sizes. Save it in a notepad or a sticky note. Your image. 
To edit a chapter start image, tap on the image and tap on edit start image. You will see a pop-up box come up here. You can choose replace in which you can replace the image with another image of the same size. You can also change the size and see as you drag the highlighted box how it changes the devices located below. When you are done, you would just click into update image. To upload any other size image, you will then place your cursor in front of the text and the paragraph you would like your image to be positioned on. Tap on image. Choose your image size and open your image. Your image will appear on your Kindle page. Add your alt text and choose your size, small, medium, or large. If you choose small or medium, you can choose your position. And your position is before the text, in the middle, and after the text. To replace an image, tap on the replace, choose your image, tap on your image, choose your image size, make sure that you have your alt text, choose your position before, in the middle, or after. If you make a mistake, use the undo button. This will undo all of your edits and your images to your last save. You can also tap on the image and use your keyboard to delete your image. To insert an image anywhere, place your cursor in front of the text that you would like to see your image positioned. Right click and insert image. Choose your image and open. Add your alt text. Choose your size, small, medium, or large. When you choose small or medium, you can choose your position before the text, in the middle, or after the text. At any time, you can click on the preview and see for cell, tablet, and Kindle e-readers. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, then give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, you can also watch the playlist that I created for beginners just like you, new authors in which I show you from the beginning how you can create your manuscript, use Kindle Create, how you can set up your Word to be able to use the different options that you will need for your manuscript to be uploaded to the Kindle Create, how you can use the Grammarly for your grammar and the Power Thesaurus for your Word Power, how to upload and convert your manuscript to the Kindle Ready eBook, and please join the Facebook new group for new authors in which you can share your ideas, learn upcoming new ideas, talk with other people, and be able to post information about your own book. You can also check out this Prime member exclusive to get three months free of Audible. Three months free to make a decision on whether you would like to keep Audible or not. The Plus catalog, along with thousands of other Audible podcasts and audiobooks for you to be able to listen to. You can also check out my audiobook for free, or you can look at the Kindle edition or the paperback edition to give you an idea Everything that I'm showing you right now is what I will be teaching you in the You Are the Creators tutorial playlist. In the next video, I will be talking about the elements, chapter title, chapter subtitle, first paragraph, and all of the standard elements. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and follow. And I look forward to hanging out with you in the next video. Stay safe. Have a wonderful evening.